Hello everyone, this is CSS to the point and you are watching lecture on theoretical perspectives in sociology. Today we will discuss symbolic interactionism which is one of the theoretical perspectives in sociology and it is a micro approach. We have already studied two macro approaches that is conflict theory and functionalist perspective. Okay, now let's discuss symbolic interactionism. Whenever two individuals meet or approach each other, then there is a definite interaction. That interaction may be in form of words, symbols or gestures. And each of these words, symbols or gestures hold a specific meaning which is interpreted by the listener. The term symbolic interactionism was first coined by sociologist Herbert Bloomer. Herbert Med also laid the foundations for this theory. Okay, let's suppose color is a symbol. Here is an interesting fact. Different colors hold different meaning in different cultures and are thus interpreted differently. For instance, white color is worn by Hindus ya yeah, in Hindu culture during a Hindu funeral. Most mourners wear white as white color in Hindu culture means purity and it is to show respect to the departed and the family. Very common for the deceased man to be wearing white clothes when buried. Similarly, in Muslim Shia culture, Shias wear black color for mourning, especially for two months that is Muharram and Safar as the grandson of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was brutally murdered and the holy ladies were forced to travel without their hijabs in the streets of Syria. In Christianity, people wear black color when their loved ones or someone they knew passes away. Christians wear white color in wedding, well, specifically talking about the bride here. As we have seen different cultures interpret different meaning to the same color, so this is symbolic interactionism. Taking inspiration from Bloomer's work, sociologists felt that people do not merely learn the rules that society has set out for them, instead they construct these rules as they interact. Then the question here is how do they construct these rules by themselves? They negotiate, they interact and rely heavily on symbols, gestures to convey their, their message to others. For instance, shaking hands with someone whether you are in India, Pakistan or US means greeting or extending a hand of friendship. Shaking hand means you are polite and a nice person and people should feel comfortable around you. Now consider a situation where you extend your hand for greeting and the other person refuses to shake your hand. Well, this would feel definitely awkward. You might feel like you have been insulted or the person dislikes you. Now the rest of the interaction between you two would be a lot different than it would have been if the other person shook hands with you. You might feel offended by that. According to symbolic interactionism, social order is possible because people learn what various symbols such as shaking hand means and apply these meanings to different kinds of situations. If you live in a society where sticking your right hand out to greet someone was interpreted as threatening gesture, you would quickly learn the value of common understanding of symbols. In a nutshell, symbolic interactionism is a perspective that sees society as a product of shared symbols such as language. The social word is therefore constructed by the meanings that individual attach to events and social interaction and these symbols are transmitted across generations through language. So this was uh, our lecture for today. I hope you understood the concept behind symbolic interactionism. If you like the content, subscribe our channel, like the video, share the video. Jazakallah and Allah Hafiz.